a hot shower, but the best thing is when you come out and you have a really good towel to wrap yourself around. So let's talk about what makes a towel a good towel, Kimberly. We're going to have a little lesson when it comes to your towels. I can tell you one of the things right now that makes a good towel is uh -huh. a clean towel that your husband has put in the washer and the it's dryer. Important. And so you have one handy and ready to go. That's one good tip That's for sure. That's a really good tip. But beyond clean. that, a lot of times people think of towels as something kind of generic. And they are ever every bit as much complicated as sheets. That's so when true. you're thinking about sheets, you know you think about thread count and construction and the quality of the materials. Mm -hmm. Same thing with towels. What are they made of? That's the first question you're gonna ask yourself. You know I'm a big fan of 100% cotton. Yes. Not all cottons are created equally. Egyptian cotton has done a very good job of marketing itself and it's wonderful. But there's another cotton which is American ring spun cotton, which is a fraction of an inch gaining on Egyptian cotton in terms really? of people demanding it by name. It's grown in the United States, it's woven in the United States, or in this case in Canada, mm -hmm. and it is a superior cotton in every sense of the word. So if you're looking for a quality cotton for your towels, you might ask for a ring spun or at least something that's grown in America. Oh, cool. So okay. now I went to a company called Cambridge and I love them because they are a Canadian company mm -hmm. and they do nothing but make towels. And that tells me that they are very committed to the their pros. brand. Right? And they're committed that the consumer is going to have a great experience when they use the towel because you yeah. need a towel to do. You need your towel to dry you, for sure. Yeah, That's for one sure. thing you need it to do. It has to absorb. It has to absorb. You also need your towel. I need my towel in the morning to like help me do my happy dance. Yes. Do you do a happy dance It has in the to morning? be very dramatic. It has to be a dramatic You want to cape sometimes. You got to cape it. Sometimes you want hair. That's right. So when sometimes you're thinking you about want a skirt. <laughs> And you want to make sure you got a towel that's big enough to do both of those that's things. Right. And that's going to come with it a quality a towel as well. Thing. No, thank you. No, thanks. So you're thinking about thread count when you're buying sheets. When you're buying towels, you're thinking about grams per square meter. You're looking for a thickness in terms of the quality of the material. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking about the type of material, which we've gone over, which is American cotton is terrific. Right. And then you're thinking about how is that woven. Yes. And then a few things that confuse consumers about towels. So what I've got here on the table are a bunch of beautiful colors. And like Yannick said, decorating is kind of the no-brainer. You should choose a color that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. A color you look good naked in. <laughs> That's awesome. Choose that color. That's terrific. And then you want to think about the quality construction. And one thing that consumers are surprised about is lint. Lint is actually an indication that you have a quality towel. Really? So don't be like afraid. Like if it comes off? Don't be afraid of the lint. That's oh. going to come from a natural fiber like cotton. Okay. So you're going to change your dryer filter every single time, clean it out. Yep. And then the next thing you think about is color absorbency. When I wash this, is it going to fade? Right. It's very important that you're dealing, again, with the quality uh, materials in terms of the dyes, et cetera, that they're using. Mm -hmm. And I've tested these towels myself. So color is the last thing you really think about. It's grams per square meter. Right. It's what's it made of, and then it's how it's woven okay. and then all these beautiful colors I want to point out I also went to gingers which we love yes and they have these beautiful I thought this gray was such a pretty kind of a dove gray a lovely stitching around the end of that featured towel there so when you're talking about planes you know look at all the colors I mean we're just talking about hundreds and hundreds beautiful. of colors for you to choose from so nice so you're not going to run out of options also, and then the way they feel Kimberly that's a big oh. one we've talked about this before like yep. you like something like me a little bit more abrasive I want to have something that's I'm going to feel like as, clean my skin. I, yeah, exactly. Rather than you know that really slippery feeling. Exactly. Some people like that really soft, soft, slippery. I'm not into it. No, I like no. a little abrasive. I, I want to get dry. Just like my men. I, I like I a little abrasive. Oh, little oh he's going to be happy you said that. Oh, please. He he's knows who, be happy he you knows said who that. he is. My husband right <laughs> now is thinking, I think I have one of those wives. Um, <laughs> you know, another thing when you're thinking about decorative options, uh, Cambridge does a, a bunch of beautiful things. Like this is a printed design. That is so, so pretty. So that could be something that you think about, adding to your plain towels with some beautiful printed patterns. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. um, I happen to be a big fan of this towel that comes from gingers. This is bamboo and cotton. Pretty. Now this is not a terrific um, bath sheet when you get out of the bath, but it is an extra large towel that is terrific if you go to the beach. It's more like a shawl almost. Isn't that gorgeous? This is beautiful. Are you and you kidding? Also, I use this on a table. I use this also, as a tablecloth. Exactly right. A so, runner. Isn't that pretty? This is yeah, gingers. It's gorgeous. Look at us. Don't we look Love good? It. So good. Can you imagine? Yes. So there's lots of different things to think about. Now I have recently um, started working with Cambridge and this is the first time I've been able to take a product from the natural material. I saw the cotton with my own eyes. I saw them take the cotton and weave it into threads. I went to the factories, I saw the looms and it was really exciting for me and I've developed some colors that I think are going to really 
fit into Canadian consumers' homes, and I did some washing. So this is one of the colors that I'm going to be introducing on the Shopping Channel, and I washed this one six times, exactly the same color as the color it started with. So you did like major testing, experiments, because you want to make sure that what you're giving oh. out, your name's on it, right? My so you want to make sure that and people like it and the color stays You guys and all know how to get in touch with me, so I want to make sure if you we buy this towel, to you're going to love you. it. Absolutely. Well, so, you're going to be talking towels on the shopping channel, I, I know. That's happening on June 1st. May 31st, I start, I think, at midnight. May midnight 31st or 10 p.m. Okay, yeah, You all know right. how that is, and it goes overnight. Yes, yeah. you have to have a lot of coffee, okay? I have a lot. It's going to be and I get to shower it's late in for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be uh, pretty much this eight piece set. Yes. It's the showstopper. The showstopper is an eight piece about. set, and I, I brought one for you. And oh, thank you. Should and we tell them? Fine. You're all going to get Yay! an eight piece set. <laughs> <laughs>